Hey guys, it's Camille and welcome to my channel. It's been a minute, y'all. Do not get me. I know I've been horrible with the video posting. I'm not posting every day. I'm not posting every week. And, you know, I'm going to make sure I give y'all these videos because y'all be loving my story time. I think I'm a good little storyteller or what it's good storyteller or whatever. You know, I'm trying to do my best. You know, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. But now, um, y'all, a lot has been going on. Ugh, I just can't catch a break. I'm just strong, y'all. I am just... Um, I'm about to give y'all... I'm giving y'all a story time today. Story time is the time... And it's still kind of new. My... Friend, so-called friend... Stopped talking to me after I didn't took a DUI charge. For her. <laughs> to the mother of this child, I do want you to know that you might, because you might lose all respect for me if you see this video, and I, I completely understand why, but I'm about to get into some deep down secrets about this person. I'm going to just say it like this. I have a good, good heart. I have a good heart. And every time I speak highly of my friends, I speak highly of my friends. Like I never, I never, I never talk down on my friends. I always speak highly of my friends. And it seems like every time I do that, people fuck me over and they give me their ass to kiss every single time. Like, and I don't like that. And I, because I don't, I like, I don't like that because my heart is so good. My heart is so good. Like, I really have been through a lot in the past. And I know everybody else, you know, I know everybody else have their own, own life and everything. And they go through stuff too. But I have really went through a lot. And I'm only 19 years old and I've been going through all of this. So it's been really hard for me. Uh, I didn't even know how I was supposed to have been crying on this video, but who a bad bitch need to get it together, y'all? Very me, very me. Ooh, ooh, that did something to me. Okay, so recently, y'all, and this just happened. I had a friend. She's been in my life. She's much older than me. She's been in my life since I was. 16, 15, no, 15. She's been in my life since I was 15 years old. And she used to be around the family a lot. You know, good people. You know, I, I, I thought she was good people. You know, very cool, very chill. Stay out the way, always quiet and everything. But anyways, we became really close. We became really close over the years and everything. And, you know, we never had any falling outs. Like, we click being so good like we literally talk um anyways recently um i had got in a car accident where i almost lost my life and i'm going to insert the video clip right here I went down there. I went down there because I supposed to have been attending a funeral. One of her family members passed, but they ended up changing this, the funeral date. So I ended up going down there also to go pick up my car that I was borrowing from my mom. That Yeah, my car that I was going to be using, my mom's car. So I ended up taking the train there and everything. So I see I came down there. Yes. Did I? Okay. So yeah. So I seen her the same day. I seen her the same day, guys. You know, very chill, very calm. You know, it was good. The vibes was good. 
I could tell that she was drunk because I know her so well. So when she's drinking, because she drinks a lot, like a lot, lot, like she's drink so much she like gets sloppy drunk like to the point where she's just sloppy and not even being careful she's just being straight up careless <clears throat> she was she was that kind of drunk but me at the time i was really sleepy i was really going in and out i was tired so i ended up falling asleep early because i remember everybody was like you can't hang you can't hang you, you can't hang i'm just i'm out of it so at the time i was at my mom's house and i needed a ride to my grandma's house to pick up the vehicle that I was going to be using. So I ended up asking her, could she take me to my grandma's house because she actually had to go to that same city that I was going to go get the car because she had to go pick up her boyfriend. Boyfriend, yeah. So anyways, I'm sleeping and everything. At the time, her baby was at her grandma's house, so she had to go pick up the baby. It's nighttime, guys. I'm thinking it's probably like, 11 o'clock if I'm not mistaken so we went to pick up the baby at the time you know I'm still asleep from my mom's house so I'm like in and out of it so I'm in a passenger seat sleeping but I remember when we actually got up got to the house and I remember when she put the baby in the car and all of that but after that I passed back out at the time um she was drunk and everything at the time she had told me prior that she wanted me to drive the car but I went to sleep and I was really, really tired. So it's just like, I couldn't like, I couldn't drive because I was out of, I was really tired, I was sleepy. So um, we ended up going, to, she ended up going to pick her baby up. I was asleep at the time, but I told you I was in and out. So I remember her putting the baby in the car. So before you know it, I'm out again. So I'm guessing she, she's heading to my hometown to go drop me off to my grandma's house and go pick up her boyfriend. So before you know it, I'm asleep, guys. I heard noise. It's like, it's, I'm, 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 I'm out of my sleep. I woke up. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I just got, you know, I just like woken up out of my sleep. I'm trying to figure out what's going on because there's a lot going on. I'm thinking somebody was shooting at the car the whole time. We wrecking the car. It's going crazy and all of that. The glass is popping. I'm thinking I'm, it was the, the glass is popping and everything. The airbag came out, blew it out and all of that. So before you know it, the car stopped. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on because it happened. It happens and it kind of triggering me right now because when it happened, all I remember is a big pat, a big impact hit me in my back, hit me in my back, and I couldn't breathe. I'm like guessing for. I'm like, <gasps> I'm like, <gasps> cause when I jumped, my head hit the ceiling. I'm like, <gasps> so I'm trying to catch my breath. So before you know it, she she ended up. I end. She ended up getting out the car, and as I end up getting the car, the baby's crying like. Why? Like the baby's crying back there. So the first thing she got in the car, when the first time, the first thing that she said when the accident had happened was, "I told you to drive. I told you to drive. But how could I drive when I was asleep and you knew that?" Basically trying to put it on me because she crashed the car. So the baby crying, the car smoking and stuff like that. She still got the car on. I was like, "Hurry up and cut the car off." I had to go snatch the baby up in the back seat. So I'm trying to help hold my head up because at this point, I'm feeling like my head then broke, my back hurt, all of it. I'm holding the baby, I'm crying. She's talking about hold the baby, hold the baby. She talked about the first thing she said was, don't do me like this, Camille. You already know my situation. Can you please take this, take this for me, Camille? Please don't do me like this, Camille. She's crying, she's like, please, Camille, I hope you're not trying to get no money. And at the time, I'm like, at the time, I'm like, baby, that's the last thing I'm thinking about. It's a coin. I just almost lost my life. I'm trying to get my thoughts together right now because I am shocked. So anyway, she kept repeating it. She kept like repeating it. She was like, please, come here. Don't do me like this, like this. And I'm like, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. And she kept repeating and repeating. It was aggravating me because it's just like, it's a lot right now. I just got an accident. You talk about take a charge for you because her, she she already had, she had a D. DUI before when she lost her license. <clears throat> Hold on, guys. She had a DUI before when she lost her license. Same thing, sloppy, drunk, acting like acting a freaking nut. So she lost her license, so she don't have license. Then she, um, like I said, she had a DUI before, so her driver record is really messed up. And I'm sure she had prior um, driving, wreck, whatever, you know. And plus, she always, her mom always giving her cars. So she wrecked and messed up like a lot of cars. So 
anyway, she she's stressing me out and all that. So before you know it, one minute after the accident, it's like a police come coming across the corner. So he see us. So um, he came out the car and all of that. He started questioning us, like what happened. She had ever made us something. She told me to tell them that it was a deer in the road and I hurry up and, and I had to swerve and it was just a lot. So anyways, the guy ended up, the police ended up asking us who was driving. I said I was driving. She said that she was in a passenger seat. I was in a passenger seat. At the time, like I said, she have a she have a baby. Baby is so one years old in the car seat, baby in the back seat. Um, in the passenger seat. She's driving. She's putting all of us in danger because she can't control her liquor because she's about to she wants to get sloppy, sloppy, sloppy drunk to the point where she can't remember shit. So I ended up telling the police I drove. So he ended up asking for my ID, well, my license. I ended up giving him my license. He asked for hers. He went in his car, came back. So now he was just asking me, like, can you explain to what happened again? So I'm explaining to what I'm explaining. I'm explaining everything back to him and everything like that. <clears throat> so um, the ambulance came out. It got me in the ambulance. They're doing my blood pressure. They're doing my little blood finger thing on my finger. Just trying to see what's going on. Asking me, do I need to go to an emergency room? I'm like, no, I'm good. Like, I don't need one. Because my I was not I was hurting, but I wasn't really hurting to the point where I needed it. I'm just trying to get my mind together. So, anyways, the police end up coming to us. And he ended up giving, us, giving me a paper. <clears throat> and he was like, can you write a statement of what happened and everything? She ended up, she ended up doing the paper for me. She had enough sense to draw the paper and fill out the information for me because I was so shocked I couldn't even concentrate. Plus, it was freezing out there. So, I gave the man the paper back. He went back to his car. He came back to me. So, he so was like, hey, can I talk to you? Can I? He, so, he put me to the side. He was like, can I talk to you? And I was like, yeah. He ended up asking. He was like, you can be honest with me. You can be honest with me. He was like, are you aware that she has a bad driver record? I was like, yes, sir. And he was like, I don't believe that you was driving. And he was like, where are you driving? And I said, yes, sir, because I'm taking up for her. Because I knew with her having a bad driving record and she don't have no license, I knew she would have got locked up and she has a baby. And I care for her and that baby. And I knew I don't really, I knew I did, I don't really have a driving record. So I knew I probably would have been good. So he ended up asking me, because at a point, he, oh, so when he was writing a ticket, he was like, I'm going to give you, I'm going to warn you, I'm, I'm going to warn you because you know you can get a DUI right now. Cause at the time I was, I, I was a little, I had a little buzz. I was a little high, and I guess he smoked weed in the car. But I wasn't smoking in the car. It was her weed. So she was smoking weed while I was knocked out sleep. So he smelt weed in the car. So honestly, I told him I basically was taking that charge, about to take a charge, like take a weed charge too. But he ain't give me, he ain't give me the charge for the weed because I ended up telling him that I was smoking the weed. So he ended up giving me, um, he ain't give me the charge for a weed. He, but he did told me that. It could, that's a DUI, and he could charge me for it, but he warned me. You know, her, all of that on her, drinking, and he knew she was drinking. Because when he put me to the side, he was like, you can be honest with me. He was like, because I feel like she was driving. She's drunk, and I know she's drunk because she can't even stay still. She's all over the place. I'm real chill. I'm alert. I'm answering all the questions. You know, he know I'm good. She's like, you could tell that she's drunk down. So anyways, he ended up questioning her, like, were you driving or were you smoking or anything? And she was like, no, I wasn't here. And she, basically, she was getting a little, trying to get nasty, sarcastic with him and all of that. So before you know it, he um he ended up giving us, giving me the ticket. He told me my court date and all of that. She ba she didn't get no charge. Basically, didn't get no charge for nothing. She only got the seatbelt charge. She got the seatbelt charge because of me. Cause that's supposed to be my charge. Her charge supposed to be everything else with the DUI. Cause she was drinking, she was smoking, um, she don't have license. She don't even supposed to be driving. And plus, endangerment, endangerment of a child because we had a whole one year old back there. You putting that that one year old life in danger. So I'm making another clip because they ended up giving me a citation to pay. Um, 
So I never got 